London on Wednesday. Corio says he's got America's best loved man. And the Post says that in spite of his great achievements, he has made many enemies. Seems that Scotland Yard is taking unusual security precautions. He is in London to learn the latest industrial techniques which he hopes to apply in furthering the prosperity of his own country. England proudly bids him welcome. The point is, just exactly how are we going to kill him? Shaving. Why does any man shave? To keep his face feeling clean. It's a waste of time when it doesn't show. <laughs> How are your experiments going on? As a matter of fact, Sally, I'm in a bit of a jam. I need something to work on other than myself. Mice and guinea pigs are all very well, but their different metabolic rates and so on make it difficult. I may try a monkey. Why don't you use a mom? Well, that would be taking too much of a risk. Besides, I can't imagine getting many volunteers. I'll volunteer. I'd love to be invisible. Not if I know it. One freak in the family's enough. And now I must get dressed. I've got a big day ahead. in the wars. An accident? Sort of. What happened to you? I swerved to avoid a dog. Oh. Anything I can do? Well, that's going to need a tow truck. Could you possibly drive me home? It's not very far. Well, sure. Hop in. But I've rather a heavy suitcase in the car. Would you mind? Yes, of course. Fabulous Mr. Constantine lives. Yes. I'm glad to be able to help you. I must get along now. Oh, but my suitcase. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Would you mind bringing it into the house? Of course. Thank you so much. Just put it over there. You will have a drink, won't you? Thank you. But I am in a hurry. Oh, Mr. Brady. Now, how did you know my name? The one thing that I never lack is information. Oh, I get it. You know by my bandages. They're a kind of trademark. You... You've had troubles too, I see. Yes. Let me introduce myself. Constantine. Raphael Constantine. I've heard about you, Mr. Constantine, and your famous art collection. Well, I've enjoyed this chance of meeting you, but I'm running very late. It and... was no chance meeting you, Mr. Reddy. It was all arranged. Arranged? But your ditched car. That too. But why? I had to see you here alone at once. We knew how busy you were, your, your many commitments. Why did you want to see me? Because I wanted to find out for myself whether it really was possible for a man to become invisible. Well, you can accept my assurance, he can. And now, if you don't mind... Oh, Mr. Brady, if you leave me now, I'm a dead man. Please. 
Come inside. All my life I've lived for beauty, surrounded myself with lovely things. I've hated ugliness, tried to lock it out. But now I'm engulfed in a loathsome obscenity of ugliness, from which I cannot day or night for one moment escape. Can you stand shocks? As a scientist, I've seen many things. But nothing, I think, quite as horrible as this. It's, it's like a face created in clay by a four-year-old child. And I cannot, I will not continue this nightmare existence. That's why, if you don't help me, I intend to die today. He means it, Mr. Brady. But what can I do? I'm a scientist, not a surgeon. There's no way I can help. There is one way. By making me invisible. I'm sorry. I'd like to help you, but... What you suggest is no answer. It is. It's the only answer. To think that no one, not even I, would ever again have to look on this mangled nightmare of a face. There's nothing in the world I wouldn't give for such a favor. Mr. Brady, you need my father as much as he needs you. Why? My information is that you must have a human being to experiment on before you can become visible again. Who told you that? It... Well, I told you I don't lack for information. Listen, I'll do anything, everything you ask. No risk could be too great. I do need a human being for my experiments, but... Please, Mr. Brady. I don't know. My director would have to obtain permission from the government. If something went wrong with the experiment... Nothing could be worse than the horror that I've lived through these last years. Mr. Brady, my life is in your hands. I'll do what I can. It's going to work. I'm sure he'll do it. Make you invisible. But can he do it in time? The president arrives tomorrow. He'll be here for two weeks. This is my one way of getting near enough to Domic, uh, the liberator, to kill him. London has turned out in force to welcome President Domic, the liberator. Later in the day, he went to Downing Street and in the afternoon drove through cheering crowds to the palace. It seems that the well-loved President Domek bids fair to become as popular with our London crowds as he is at home among his own people. During his stay in England... Oh, how I hate that smirking, unmarked face. He won't look like that by the time I finish with him. Mr. Constantine, if I may suggest, aren't you letting this passion for revenge endanger all of us? After all, it wasn't the President who disfigured you. He did not throw the bomb, but he, he took away our house, our estates, our factories, everything. And left me with this. He took everything from me too, my home, my job as leading scientist with your combine. And haven't I looked after you since? Oh, yes, yes you have, and I am grateful. I wish to remain with you, Mr. Constantine. You have my complete loyalty. That is why I beg you. There are only two things which are important. My invisibility and the President's death. These gentlemen are with me, Joe. Okay, Mr. Brady. So now you are giving him 400 megaheliums, eh? You are certainly getting the hang of the experiments. I watch closely because it so deeply concerns Mr. Constantine. You stop at 500, surely you can give him more. I could, but I'm not going to. Believe me, 500's plenty. If it wasn't for the fact that we've already built up his body resistance... That's just it. Mr. Constantine is getting impatient. 
He complains that for two weeks now you have just been playing around the edges of this experiment. Heart test, blood test, breathing counts, metabolism. And now, just as he is getting the ray, you stick to such tiny exposures. I don't understand you. Complicated scientific experiments like this can't be hurried. If I am to gain anything of value from it, each step must be taken in orderly progression and under strict control. But Mr. Constantine does not want these precautions. He longs to be invisible. He cannot bear this waste of time. Well, he'll just have to be patient. Already the buildup on his body is immense. Tomorrow I shall increase the rate of absorption to 600 megaheliums. That's all for today. All right, Mr. Constantine, I'm cutting off the power and releasing the locks. already. I'll only be in there five minutes. Three and three quarters, to be precise. I take more. Lots more. I have no doubt. But I'm not taking any chances. I had to obtain top brass permission to start. I promise to apply every possible safeguard and caution. So that's just what I'm going to do. Can't you see this delay is driving Mr. Constantine mad? The purpose of this experiment isn't only to make Mr. Constantine invisible, but also to obtain information on how to make an invisible man visible again. He should worry about that. That's enough, Max. Mr. Brady is right. I was overlooking my obligations in this matter. Forgive me. I'm sure you'll understand how, how hard it is to wait. I do. I've been doing a bit of waiting myself. Tell me one thing. How long could it be before I, I achieve invisibility? Three days, four, if I'm on the right track. From calculations of my total exposure to the rays, I reckon your absorption limit has almost been reached. 600 megaheliums tomorrow, 700 the day after. Eight, if needed, the day after that. I think by then we can count on you becoming invisible. Three days more. <sighs> That's not long to wait for a miracle. Thank you. And my apologies for our ill-mannered impatience. Forget it. See you tomorrow. Dinner. Well, that's just it. I won't. I'll be late home. Will you tell your mother, please? It's this man I'm doing the experiment on. There's something very funny going on. I'm going to do a bit of snooping to find out what it is. I may not be home at all. All right. I'll tell her. Goodbye, Sally. Goodbye, Uncle Peter. Thank you. 
paper, sir. Who is? President Omega. Huh? He's been recalled to South America. Leaving right after the ship launching. Tomorrow. But this changes everything. You must alter the whole plan. You will never be ready in time. He could be ready in time. It means taking a big risk, though. Then he mustn't. That's enough, Mara. Are you sure it can be done? Well, you remember what Brady said. You have almost reached the absorption limit. Another two or three hundred megahelions and you will be bursting with this stuff. Then all I've got to do is to get him to give it me in one dose instead of three. We will have to work fast. What time does the ship launching take place? Twelve noon. Brady gets to his laboratory just after nine. That leaves us three hours to persuade him, do the job, and get to the shipyard. How do you intend to kill Domek? I meant it to be a bomb, to give him a taste of what I had. Now, now it'll have to be a gun. But if you are invisible, people will see the gun floating through the air. No. Maria will carry the weapon of execution in her bag. And at the last moment, I'll take it from her and move away. Nothing will connect her with a the killing. There won't be a killing. A, because you won't be invisible to shoot this man down. And B, because you'll be sitting in jail, all of you. We've an old-fashioned prejudice against assassinations. Still, you may be lucky enough to get away with ten years apiece. Nothing is going to happen to us. Because you are not going to be around to talk. Don't be silly. Put that gun away. You're liable to hurt someone. And it won't be me. You're costing Mr. Constantine a fortune. Stand still, everyone. Eventually, he must give away his position. Am I glad to get out of that? Now let's get to work. Open it. I don't like it. There is so much could go wrong. Nothing will go wrong. I have complete faith in you, Max. For the last few days, you've watched his every move. Yes, I know. Don't argue. We're wasting time. Constantine. I'm as visible as I ever was. What's the reading now? 600 megaheliums. I told you 800. Fool. But the build-up is too fast. No human body can stand it. Let me be the judge of that. 800. Gun. Is it loaded, ready for my father to fire? Quite ready, Miss Constantine. You stay here and guard the invisible man.
if he gets here soon, he'll be too late. He's to shoot at him as the ship goes down the slipway and the whistles blow. But he's not here. What's happened? the first of this fleet of fine ships for carrying my country's oil to the world. And it is with pride that I name this ship Liberdad, which in my language means freedom. President Domek, I'll say goodbye. And very relieved, no doubt, to get me off your hands. Let us just say, relieved at your safe departure. Goodbye, Dr. Brady. Goodbye, Mr. President. And thank you for all you have done. Well, that's that. After you, sir. Thank you. Would you mind dropping me at the lab? 